Due to the widely varying standards from state to state, uh, several decades ago, the American Land Title Association, commonly known as ALTA, partnered with the American Congress of Surveying and Mapping, acronymed as ACSM, to create what's been known in the industry as an ALTA ACSM land title survey. This is to put everything on one standard so that regardless of where the uh, title agency is originating or where the property is located, they have a common denominator that they can feel confident in. Lenders, title insurers, uh, certain buyers require ALTA ACSM surveys for their properties depending upon the level of underwriting and the amount of the dollar value involved. Recently, ACSM has merged with and became renamed as the National Society of Professional Surveyors, or NSPS. So with the 2016 revision to the ALTA standards, they'll now be known as ALTA NSPS surveys, according to the 2016 standards. A key difference in the preparation of an ALTA survey, and probably what most people consider to be the main difference between an ALTA survey and a standard boundary survey, is that the land surveyor is required to review any possible exceptions or encumbrances to the subject property as determined by a title examiner through a detailed title examination. This also requires that the title examiner or closing attorney re closely review the survey for content in regards to the title exceptions that affect the subject property. By incorporating both professionals into the closing documents and the title insurance process, the client is ensured that a high confidence level has been reached in determining a comprehensive big picture of the subject property. Alta surveys require a higher level of detail on the face of the survey than a normal boundary survey. There are also additional features that can be added to an ALTA survey, known as Table A items. Some of these will include building dimension, setback information, varying degrees of utility location, and even parking space inventory. ALTA surveys are often referred to as the Cadillac of surveys, and for good reason. 